The Great Kapok Tree. Two men walked into the rainforest. The larger man stopped and pointed to a great kapok tree. Then he left. The smaller man took the axe he carried and struck the trunk of the tree. Whack! The sounds of the blows ran through the rainforest. Chop! 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 Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great kapok tree. A bow constrictor lived in the kapok tree. He slithered down its trunk to where the man was sleeping. He looked at the gash the axe had made in the tree. Then the huge snake slid very close to the man and hissed in his ear. Senor, this tree is a tree of miracles. It's my home where generations of my ancestors have lived. Do not chop it down. A bee buzzed in the sleeping man's ear. Senor, my hive is in the kapok tree, and I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower, collecting pollen. In this way, I pollinate the trees and flowers throughout the rainforest. You see, all living things depend on one another. Senor, do you know what we, what we animals and humans need in order to live? Oxygen. And Senor, do you know that trees produce Oxygen, if you cut down the forest, you will destroy that which gives us all life. A troop of monkeys scampered down from the canopy of the kapok tree. They chatted to the sleeping man. Senor, we have seen the ways of man. You chop down one tree and come back for another and another. The roots of these great trees will wither and die and there will be nothing left to hold the earth in place. When the heavy rains come, the soil will be washed away and the forest will become a desert. A toucan, a macaw and a flock of birds flew down from the canopy. Senor, scoffed the toucan, you must not cut down this tree. We have flown over the rainforest and seen what happens once you begin to chop down the trees. Many people settle on the land. They set fires to clear the underbrush. And soon the forest disappears. Where there once was life and beauty, only black and smouldering ruins remain. A bright and small tree frog crawled along the edge of a lake, and squeaky voice piped in the man's ear. Senor, a ruined rainforest means ruined lives. You will leave many of us homeless if you chop down this great kapok tree. Jaguar leaped down and padded silently over the sleeping man. He growled in his ear. <gasps> Senor, the K-pop tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? <gasps> A child from 
the Yanomamo tribe who lived in the rainforest knelt over the sleeping man. She murmured in his ear, Senor, when you awake, please look upon us all with new eyes. The man awoke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest child and all around him surrounding the creatures who depended on the great cave of tree. What wondrous and rare animals they were. The man stood and picked up his axe. He hesitated, then he dropped the axe and walked out of the rainforest.